Hello there, Biddle Luddy. Ha! Did you call me Biddle Luddy instead of Little Buddy? Yes, Bid. It's a spoonerism. A what? A spoonerism is an error in speech in which corresponding consonants, vowels, or morphemes are switched between two words in a phrase. They are named after the Oxford Don and ordained minister, William Archibald Spooner, who reputedly did this. And how do you create a spoonerism? To create a spoonerism, replace the consonants at the beginning of the first word, with the consonants from the start of the second word, leaving the vowels and remaining consonants intact. For example, in the phrase little buddy, the L in little is replaced with the B in buddy. Okay, so in the phrase Christmas Eve, the E and Eve is replaced with the CHR in Christmas? Rats thigh. Oops, that's right. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. And welcome back to another episode of Wow, how'd you code that? Today, we're writing a method that transforms a two-word phrase into a spoonerism. First, since we know our phrase contains only two words, we define an array of strings, named parts, split the incoming string into two parts, and assign the result to the parts array. Next, we instantiate a string builder, named results, that will contain the results of our algorithm. Next, we define two integer variables, index1 and index2, and assign to each, the results of the call to the helper method, getValIndex, passing it each part from our parts array. Inside the getValIndex method, we initialize a string variable, named vowels, containing a list of valid vowels. Next, for each character in the incoming string, we determine if it is a vowel. If it is, we return the index value of the position of the vowel, otherwise, we continue traversing the string. If the loop completes, indicating a vowel was not found in the string, a negative one is returned to the calling method. Back inside the calling method, the append method is called on the result string builder, with a new string builder instantiated containing the first string in the parts array. We then replace the characters at the index position 0 to the index position of index 1, with the substring of the second part of the incoming string, from index 0 to the index position of the value of index 2. A space is then appended to the result string builder. We then instantiate another string builder, containing the second string from the parts array. We replace the characters at the index position of 0 to the index position of the value of index 2, with the substring of the first part of the incoming string, from the index position of 0 to the index position of the value of index 1. The resulting string builder is then converted to a string and returned to the caller. You nailed it. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching. And we'll see you in the next episode of Wow! How'd you code that?